Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and we are 24 hours away from Tom Bauer's book, Hidden the Shelves. And yeah, the, the e readers of everyone all around the world. And we already have this, well, let's say claims of the author himself. This woman is doing something dreadful to Britain. Royal biographer Tom Bauer claims scheming, clever Meghan Markle and Prince Harry pose a real threat to the royal family. It's it's gonna be juicy. I'm I'm sure many people are claiming that this book maybe is not gonna be aired what it needs to be, but I'm sure that it's gonna it's gonna have quite a blast. Tom Bauer appeared on Pierce Morgan. I'm gonna pull the video, I'm gonna play the video soon, but. I want to make some uh, observations regarding his own words about this threat to the royal family. Bauer also says he believes the Queen kicked Harry and Meghan off the balcony at the Platinum Jubilee celebration. I, I guess there are many ways, many reasons for a revenge, for an actual revenge. Hiding them from view of the crowd for fear of the couple taking too much media attention away from the event and adding that Prince Charles and Prince William had a say in the decision. So, Meghan and Harry has, have always been, since the start, since they wanted to copyright the Sussex brand, trying to do this for themselves. So, since they couldn't get away with that, and they made so many uh, odd decisions since last year, I think they're trying by any way or another to be relevant, to gain that attention and to take that attention from the royal family because they still leech that attention because they are still using the titles. And my question is, how long until Buckingham Palace realizes this and strips them of those titles? Another passage includes Meghan's behaving appallingly at an advertisement filming for Redman's, a women's clothing stores company in Canada. I already analyzed that. She walked off with a pair of shoes the company had only lent to her for the shoot. Oh my god. Uh, the, you, you know how many things we can call Megan having this. Now, it's important to remember that I, I've said that Bauer cannot be sued. He has been sued. Well, let me, let me get into that. Bauer said he had hoped to diminish the importance of the royal couple with his book. There is an intention. He wants to diminish their importance with this book. Well, it will have the opposite effect these days. For at least one or two months, it's going to have ripples that will give them importance. It is, it's uh, it's, it's some, some of a conundrum. But, well, the author said no lawsuits from the royal couple's legal team have been issued yet. But Bauer is no stranger to visiting Kurt over his controversial biographies. Two unauthorized biographies of Robert Maxwell, the father of Ghislaine Maxwell, landed Bauer in hot legal water, but ultimately won the raft of cases thrown at him. It's like people are saying that Bauer is some kind of uh, mouthpiece for the royal family, and they tend to forget, for example, Prince Charles' uh, biography by Tom Bauer that was, well, no holes barred. He, he, he pulled no punches in that one. Maxwell went so far as to buy the publishing company that owned the rights to publication to stop the book from being printed. But this was serious back then. Maxwell tried to break into my house and went through my phone records and bank accounts, he told GQ magazine in 2011. But I was a BBC reporter for 25 years and I have only feared for my life while reporting on wars. So this guy certainly knows what he's doing. The author has published biographies of Boris Johnson, Gordon Brown, Simon Cowell, Tony Blair, and Prince Charles. There are many people that can, you know, harm him if, if he makes a misstep. He pulled the punches in his interview, hidden, uh, hidden out at Prince Harry's speech at the UN, where he evoked the name of Nelson Mandela multiple times. He does it, and listen to this, Harry does it because he needs a profile. That's the only way he can get money, said Bauer. As by why Harry has made public appearances is speaking on a wide range of issues. And I've covered that on my Body Language Guy channel, that Harry's speech was absolutely off. I was tone deaf and he was not into it. He was not engaged in that speech. 
Everything is built around the future documentary series to promote the sauce success, he said. Referring to the Netflix series featuring Harry and Meghan, now said to be in jeopardy following the streaming company's stock collapse. She's now done that, said Bowers. She's now calculated, Meghan, that she can be a great success. And by marrying Harry, she did it. So this was calculated. It was a scheme from the start. Like, well, she, she, she had planned this. I'm going to play uh, uh, this part of the video so you can listen to this clip from uh, Piers Morgan interview. When you, when you got to the end of the book, did you have any sympathy for Meghan Markle? Did you buy into her thing that she had no idea what she's really getting into? Oh, on the contrary. I think she's a very scheming, very uh, clever woman. No, I think the, the surprising thing at the end of the book, I realized how successful she'd been. Mm. Here was a woman who was nothing. I mean, born, broken family, the whole thing, uh, an act un unknown actress, all the rest of it, becomes a global star, which is what she wanted. When she was about to nine or ten, she said to her father, no, no, I want to be famous, reaction. I want to walk down the red carpet. And she has now done that. And she's c calculated that she could be a great success. And, and, and by marrying Harry, she did it. And so Are I they in trouble? Well, it's, it's, it's this, um, he's making a statement. He's saying, well, Meghan did what she wanted to. Meghan has this cunning she has, uh, she has the resources she has the, the the drive to do this and he acknowledges by the end of the book that whatever megan wanted she got whatever, whatever megan wants she gets uh, because well she has she's got this this drive for recognition for power for for achieving and climbing this uh, this every single level and transforming his her life transforming her life no matter what happens no matter which circumstances she has to adapt to but at the same time neutralizing eliminating everything on her prior life so to speak it's like uh, she, she's constantly in that constant evolution trying to uh, change and ad adapt to those new circumstances of course not in a maybe not in that positive way but always trying to all about everything being about her about me 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 all the time so uh even if you think that this kind of flattering from tom bauer i, th I think he is um he's just jumping to the conclusion of the book it okay, doesn't mean that the book is going to be uh, a walk in the park or it's going to uh, pull the punches. It's, I think he's not afraid of saying, saying things. And in fact, he's going to prove that Megan did anything that was in her power and a little beyond to get to where she is now. And I think that is the most relevant take that we can get from this. And yes, she's scheming. She's clever and she poses a real threat to the royal family because the attention, it's undeniable, the attention that the Harkles can drive, especially Meghan, well, uh, it, has, it has to be taken into account. He claims that their image brand, their brand is going to suffer from this and he wants to diminish their brand, but I'm not so sure. At least for this year, uh, that's not going to happen, especially with his own book. Only time will tell. My royal rogues, it was a pleasure to share this with you and I'll see you in next video. Take care, much love and bliss.